Hey guys, it's Prince Shane back with another video, and today I'm going to be reacting to Clowney signing with the Titans and also DeAndre Hawkins getting a huge contract extension with the Cardinals in this video. And the reason I'm going over the Clowney news is because I just haven't had time to getting around to making a video about it. So I'm making a video about it now with the DeAndre Hopkins news. And also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me down below because I make a lot of Insta stories, posts, and more content of me. And I also give you guys update about sports that I don't on here, like scores of games, series, especially for NHL and NBA playoffs right now. And some NFL offseason moves that I don't always make videos on here because they're not as major of news. So I don't make a full video for it, but I do make an Instagram story. So if you guys want to go check out my Instagram, you can. And let's start with the video. So Clowney signed a one-year deal worth up to $15 million with the Titans. I think this is a great signing for the Titans because they need some pass rush, especially losing Darrell Casey to the Broncos in this offseason. I think this was a great signing because Titans right now, they made all the way to the conference championship game. So I feel like it's win-now mode for the Titans. So if they can keep making this team better, the better chance they'll have against the Chiefs or whatever AFC team they have to play in the playoffs to try to make it to the Super Bowl, like Ravens, like they played last year, or a different team. All right, guys, I think that's a good signing for the Titans. And let me know down below, do you think that's a good sign for the Titans, bad signing for the Titans? We also saw the Saints trying to sign a clowny, but the Saints are a little bit crunched on cap right now, so they weren't able to give them as much money. So I think that's ultimately why he signed with Tennessee. I hope you guys enjoyed the little part on Clowney. And now let's get into the title and thumbnail of DeAndre Hopkins signing an extension. Let's get into that right now. So the Cardinals and DeAndre Hopkins have agreed on an extension of two years, $54.5 million over the two year span. So I think this is a great deal for DeAndre Hopkins because arguably one of the best receivers in the NFL, if not the best. And... He's going to the Cardinals, going to help them. That offense helped Kyler Murray get a huge weapon in DeAndre Hopkins and just help that offense be better overall because the teams are probably going to double team Hopkins, which will leave Larry Fitzgerald open or Christian Kurt or maybe a running back or somebody open. So I think that will help Kyler Murray. So he'll have easier throws to make because they'll be wide open. So it won't be as much of a risk. I also think this is a great signing from Hopkins' perspective because in Arizona, he could help maybe get this team a little bit competitive, possibly make a little bit of a playoff run, but we'll have to see how that goes. And also, $42.75 million of that deal is fully guaranteed, so he'll make that no matter what. So I think that's great for DeAndre Hopkins. You guys can let me know down below. Do you think he got overpaid, underpaid? He is now the highest paid player that's not a quarterback in the NFL. I think very well deserving, one of the best receivers in the NFL. So a very well-deserved contract for DeAndre Hopkins. I also like that's only two years because the Cardinals do have Patrick Peterson coming up as a free agent after this season. And also the Cardinals are going to want to re-sign the former rookies like Kyler Murray and all that. So if DeAndre Hopkins ends up not working or they just don't think they're going to need him after two years, they can let him go and they're not stuck into some huge contract and he can go be a free agent and someone else can sign him. Or they can always re-sign him if they like how he produces these two years in Arizona. So let me know if you think the Cardinals will do good with DeAndre Hopkins these next two years. I think they'll be great. DeAndre Hopkins, I think this is a good fit for him. He gets a young quarterback who he can help maybe develop a deep ball a little bit more. Because right now he's a scrambler. Maybe he can help Kyler Murray get a little bit of a deeper pass. Because Hopkins is going to be there and just let him throw it up. And Hopkins can just come down with it. So I think a great signing for the Cardinals and Hopkins perspectives. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel down below. We're trying to hit 210 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys in the next one.